must be period sex. Hello! So this video is about my experience trying the core disc for a week. In this video, I'll document my experience using it during the week and then give my final thoughts and review at the very end. So stick around if you're interested. So here's the box the core cup came in. So look at the cup. It has the coral label on the edges. And it looks like this from the side. So it's a pretty sizable finger notch. Alright, I just inserted the core disc. It's pretty easy. And I will give an update once I've used it a little bit more. It's been about five or six hours now. No discomfort or anything, not feeling it at all. And I haven't noticed any spotting since the initial insertion. So it looks like it's doing the job. And I'll check back in another few hours when I take the disc out. So it's about eight o'clock now. After a bit of struggle, I was able to get the cup out. So I think the issue is that the cup, the hole for the fingers is a little bit too flexible. So I had to actually grab the top of the rim and the bottom rim with like this with my two fingers. So the under and over at the same time to break the suction. I um, had to sit on the toilet and relax to do that. So it's a little bit scary, but I managed to get it out. I actually didn't have that much blood today, but I'm gonna I put it back in and we'll see tomorrow morning. And not to discourage anyone, is all these period products ha do have a learning curve for use. Uh, I've used the cup before and that was also a struggle to get out the first few times. Um, and this cup is pretty comfortable so far. I'm just gonna try, keep trying and see if it gets better with practice. And another thing to note is that I've experienced with the cup and the core cup, they both tend to float upwards toward the cervix. So it's usually a lot deeper than I originally put it in. Uh, and I think that's pretty normal. But um, yeah, it does make it harder to take out. Just a fair warning. So it's day two of the period cup. Um, just took it out this morning and checked on the cup. I think I figured out the trick to get it out easier. Just takes a little bit of pressing down with your pelvic floor muscles and feels like birthing a very small baby, basically. Um, yeah, and once I get it to a certain point, I can just pull it out really easily. So yeah, there wasn't that much blood. It's just good to clean it out. 
every 12 hours. I think that's the recommended amount of time. So, um, the other thing that happened last night is I had sex with my boyfriend with the cup in and he's rather well endowed. <laughs> but he was really surprised that he couldn't feel it at all and it didn't really affect our sex. I was just a little worried that I might be leaking blood. But after I words I checked, there was no blood anywhere. Even after I peed, there was no blood at all. So period sex is a thing with the cup and yeah. The more I use it, the more I like it better than the previous period cups I've tried. Um, because those usually leak, one, because they have drainage holes, two, I can't have sex on it, so, <laughs> yeah. The only thing that's still an issue is taking it out, but I think with practice that will be a lot easier. Just wanted to give an update on the cup before I head to bed. Took it out just now and it was super easy. For some reason, I guess other times I had noticed that it traveled up the cervix and sometimes it even rotated where the notches would not be in the front. Today, I noticed that it was almost exactly in the same place that I left it and I had hadn't checked it since this morning so I did have a lot more blood than the last two days it was also a bit mucusy but I think that's pretty normal in my flow some days it's just heavier than others so yeah it was super easy this time popped it in and out really fast before it took I think the first time it took like 20 minutes and then yesterday it took 10 minutes, even this morning it took like 10 or 15 minutes, but just now I was able to do it in probably 5 minutes, so I'm pretty happy about that. So day 4 update, sorry I didn't give an update yesterday, since the last time we had sex again with the disc in, it was a little bit uncomfortable for me, I feel like there was a little bit of pressure, extra pressure down there but my partner didn't feel anything and it was still a pleasurable experience so that was good <laughs> so yesterday I had only checked my cup in the morning and then very late at night so I did start leaking at the end of the day but I was able to feel exactly when it happened I think maybe I just relaxed my pelvic muscles too much and then the cup was also full so that's why it started leaking but no other leaking except for that time so I'll just make sure to check it a little bit more frequently I think I went about like 16 hours without checking definitely more than 12 hours so this morning I checked it it was super easy to take in and out yep I will keep you posted on any more updates. I just went to the bathroom and I noticed I was self-emptying, which means I saw some blood in the toilet. So I decided to take it out and give it a quick rinse and pop it back in. I think that since these last two days have been my heavier flow, I need to empty it more frequently. I'm just not comfortable leaving the blood in there and risking having potential leaks on my underwear and pants, so I just took it out to be safe. Um, however, self-emptying is supposed to be part of the disc function. Day 5 of the Cora disc. This morning I took it out and it didn't have much blood, so I think I'm nearing the end of my period. Um, also tried having sex again, but today my partner said it was quite shallow, so otherwise it's been a pretty good run for the disc. I'm excited to try it again next time I get my period, and I think it's a lot more comfortable and 
easier than the period cup for me at least. I will give my final thoughts in a little bit. So let's review my experience using the core disc. So in the beginning, it was a little bit tricky to figure out how to get it out. Yeah, so the first day was a struggle. I remember I was sitting in the shower for about 20 minutes, squatting on the floor, trying to pull it out, and it didn't work because the suction was pretty strong. Uh, I didn't realize that I could push down with my pelvic floor muscles and help it get out a lot easier. I realized that the disc sometimes rotates around, so I couldn't find the finger hole at first. Um, so just pushing around the rim and rotating it so the finger grip is back at the front usually helps bear down and push it out with my finger in the notch. Then removal is super easy. And then to insert again, you just fold it in half and push it back in usually found that standing works for putting in the cup, but for the disc, I found it's better to be relaxed as much as possible in that pelvic area. So <laughs> sitting on the toilet um, closer to your tailbone and being relaxed is super helpful. For cleaning, I just dump the contents of the cup into the toilet and then I rinse it out in the sink for cleaning. After my period is done, I simply dip my disc into a container filled with hot boiling water and let it sit there and then take it out and let it dry. You can also use the core cup cleanse that they sell, which is a pH balanced gel or you can also use a gentle, mild soap and make sure to rinse all of it off after. Overall, I only had to check it every 12 hours on most days, uh, every 8 hours on heavier flow days. I didn't really experience any spotting at all, which was a plus. Uh, I only experienced that one time when I didn't check for over 12 hours and that was one of my heavier flow days as well compared to the cup, which usually always leaks for me, no matter how full it is. Yeah, so I really enjoyed my experience with the disc. It was a lot more comfortable and easy to use compared to the cup. There is a bit of a learning curve just for removal, however, I feel like I got the hang of that within this first week of trying it. Alright, now that I've used the core disc for a full week, here are my final thoughts and opinions so far. Obviously, I will update you if anything changes when I use it in the future, but here are my initial reactions. So I guess the pros of the core disc is that it's great for period sex, which I never thought would be possible. I tried having sex at least three times on the disc. First time was amazing. My partner didn't feel anything and I, it didn't prevent me from orgasming or anything. Second time, it felt, I guess, a little bit more pressure on my cervix, perhaps. I'm not sure if that was the disc or just the angle that we were going at, <laughs> but that did not affect my ability to orgasm either. In fact, that time I squirted, <laughs> so. And then, um, third time, maybe just because of the way my period is going, my cervix may have changed position, so my part- well, he didn't really feel the disc particularly, but he felt like it was more shallow than previous times, so it didn't work out that time, but still a very great option for sex during periods, which has always been something that I never thought possible. <laughs> I guess the second thing is that compared to pads and tampons, it's definitely less waste. I don't have to check it as often. I probably go like 12 hours without checking and it'd be fine. Even on like heavy flow days, I'd only have to check every eight or so hours. So that's a big bonus. It's also less waste for the environment and it's reusable. It's made out of a durable silicone, so it's very 
durable and long lasting, I don't think I'll have to replace it for a very long time. And compared to the period cups that I've tried in the past, it's definitely more easy to insert. With the period cup, it was really difficult to fold it in half and then insert it, and even then it was already pretty thick, so it was a little bit tricky to insert without being a little bit painful or uncomfortable. The disc folds up in half, it's a pretty small size, and the bottom of the disc is really flexible and thin, so it was really much easier to insert and as well as placement of the disc uh, with the cup you have to make sure it's directly under your cervix to catch the blood uh, with the disc it's much wider base so you don't have to worry as much as far as placement goes since it'll be more surface area to catch the blood so i just want to film a quick comparison of the disc versus the cup. As you can see, the disc is much wider than the cup. However, the cup is much thicker and more plastic. So you can see this is quite thin and flexible. However, the cup is very rigid. And when you fold it in half, um, you're supposed to fold it like this and insert that. It's still quite a big footprint. If you see that's a lot to insert into your vagina versus the disc you can kind of fold just like this. And then just insert it that way. So it's a lot thinner. And also compared to the cup, it's a lot less leaky, I think because of the placement factor. Yeah, I really love the disc so far. I think it's the best option I've tried for my period so far. I would definitely recommend it to anyone who's used a cup before. So the disc may not be for you if you are not comfortable touching yourself, not comfortable inserting fingers into your vagina, um, if you're not comfortable with the sight or smell of blood, if you're not comfortable inserting tampons or anything larger than that, I wouldn't recommend it. I definitely feel it's a lot easier than the cup, however, so if you have tried a cup and it hasn't worked for you, I would recommend the disc since that's a lot easier to insert in. Yeah. My experience with the cup and the disc is that once you insert it properly, you don't feel it at all. So overall, I really love the disc and would highly recommend it, especially if you want to have mess-free period sex. So hope you all enjoyed this review. I know this is a new product, so let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. And then like and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this. Thanks, bye!